I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Although, look at that. Not sure how the trainers can still be unprofitable. No, the, well, the trains are profitable. It just fluctuates quite a bit. Alright, well, as we develop the city more, the trains will only become more profitable over time, so... Don't have to worry about that. Look at these buildings. Don't have to worry about that. What's going on out here? Not much. Not much is going on out there. Let's just stare at this place, because apparently this is where all the action is going to be. Because we just put down the stadium there. Oh, look, there's another big building there. Appearing before our eyes. The share market's not going to cooperate. That's alright, we've got time. Let me just take a drink. And uh, we'll watch the city grow. Let me just um, move over here and watch the city grow. Slowly. Um, what else can we do to increase the growth? Stock dividends are in. Do I even have stocks? Why do I still have dividends? I don't know how that works. Um, city data, leisure is at 51% now. Maybe I should put in some more of those like spa hotels. We want to put them. There's a station there. There's a station here. Maybe I should like put in two spa hotels around here. Let's do that. Construction hotel. Spa hotel. Let's just put those there. Is that, does that count as leisure? 51.58? Does that count as business or leisure? I don't even know. It should count for both, right? 51.59 51.63 It counts a little bit towards leisure. Or maybe that's just other stuff. I don't even know. 51.61 I don't know. I don't know. Stock market is not cooperating. I guess that means we'll just keep um, investing in property. If the stock market doesn't want to play ball. 51.59. Right? What if I construct another one there? 51.82 is slowly going up. Interesting. And I believe these hotels are really, really profitable. Real estate hotels. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. So this one is. These other two apparently are too far away from anything to be profitable. Ah, okay, well... We know how hotels work. They need to be close to a lot of people. Well, these two. Like, Alright, we'll, we'll sell them. <laughs> They're gonna lose money. Alright, fine. Fine by me. Maybe I should have built the small ones instead of the big ones. I guess if we just give it time, they'll become profitable over time, but... I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it for city growth. Ah, stuff is being taken from here. That's interesting. Hotel... Like, these things are immediately profitable. I can just build it, wait like three days, and then already I can sell it back and make like 10 million dollars off the sale already. If you can make 10 million dollars in 3 days, like who wouldn't do it? Like why would why do I have to do it? 
Why do I be, have to be the one who makes this work for the entire city? You can make $10 million in 3 days! Who wouldn't do it? This city should be growing like you wouldn't believe! Alright, so now that's full of materials... Huh, has the growth stopped again? What's going on? What is going on? Nothing's being moved anymore. Is anything happening here? Not really. Nothing really happening there. There's a lot of apartments there now. I should put the hotel around here. The spa hotel. Uh, nothing really happening there. Wait, is that it? I put that in and we've got a few bigger buildings and then it has stopped? That's not very exciting, is it? Leisure 51.82 um, Maybe we should put in more of these Entertainment Facility Theater 230 materials cost Let's put a theater in... Nope too far away from the uh, other material depots. can probably put it... Uh, where can I put it? Put it like there. Nope. Um... Can I really not put it there? That that supply depot is kind of in the wrong place. Uh, shares are not cooperating. Theater. Theater. I can put it there. All right. More entertainment. Fifty-one point eight five. What's that gonna do? Gonna go up. 55.83. Alright, the theater really counts for a lot of leisure. Let's keep that in mind. 55.83. 55.85. Everybody just watches movies all the time. That's basically what's happening. Um. What else can I do? There's a depot there, a depot there, a depot there. We could put a theater around here. There's two depots right there. Let's go ahead and construct a theater there. Wow. Well. <laughs> It's above 20. <laughs> it's above 20. We should have bought. We should have bought a long time ago. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, real estate. Shops, hotels, houses, office, high rise. Entertainment is highly profitable everywhere in the city. This thing is. It's worth a lot of money now. Entertainment, sports. Yeah, okay. Leisure is up to 59.86%. Uh, the materials have disappeared from here. What happened? I guess some of this stuff happened. Man, look at the city grow. Population 51,000. Alright, well, 
maybe it's time soon for another loop of trains. Yeah, probably it is time soon for another loop of trains. What is the stock exchange doing? Damn it. Actually, now that there's a lot more buildings around here, maybe it's time to put in more trains. Let me just stop. Number 8. Let's just see what's going on with number 8. Number 8. 8, 1528, 1528, 302, 114, 128. Hmm. It's highly profitable, but not necessarily full of people. What about the next loop over. Number five? Number five. Uh, there's a lot of people on this train. Alright, I think I can I can afford to put in more trains. Let's see, where's that one? There's that one there. Let's put in another AR3 here. Uh, reverse. And we'll put in another AR3 here as well with the next train there. Alright, let's put another AR3. There, reverse train. What about here? Now, there's not really that many buildings out here. Let's leave that. Although there is a few here. Alright, good. Carry on. Those new trains are making a ridiculous amount of money. Yep, it's making a ridiculous amount of money. Good. That's the plan. Make ridiculous amounts of money. Leisure 60.17. Yes, grow. Grow that city. Business data. Yes, make ridiculous amounts of money. Holy cow. I just made $6 million off subsidiaries in one day. Although we pay 80% tax, so don't get too happy about it. Uh, oh, interesting. Maybe we should, we should buy. It's under 5. The thing is, if we get it like, if it's under 5 versus under $2.50, $2.50, like, that, that's double. 5 is double two fifty. So the lower the price, the greater the multiple on your profits. If it goes up. But then we're not really constrained by money at the moment. We've got eight billion dollars. I should have bought. <laughs> I should have bought a few days ago. Crap. Alright, let's let's keep watching it. It's this near the bottom. It's um or not, never mind. All right, it looks like it's going to come down near the bottom. Or it'll hover around here for a while. Hmm. Like if you buy a 10, it might go up to 20, it might go down to 2. So you don't know. If you buy a 2, it only goes up. So you know that you're going to make a profit. I should have bought. I should have bought and sold already.
That's alright though. Look at the money flow in down the bottom. We're making a lot of money every day. Actually, what? It's the 21st of October. Maybe I should like sell a lot of my properties to avoid the tax. Like sell them before December. Subsidiary with total returns, total costs. Oh, I, I sold a. I mean, I bought a lot of subsidiaries. That's why the money doesn't line up. Although if I if I pay like four hundred million dollars in tax now, it's still flat. Maybe I should just keep them. The subsidiaries. Yeah, just keep them. Ah, it's still going up. I should have bought and sold already. I keep missing the stock market. But we're not gonna build a maglev anytime soon if I keep doing that. And missing the prices. Uh, where are the materials going from here? Huh. Where are the materials going? Something must have gotten built. I don't see... Wow, the stock market crashed. That's... I haven't seen that for a while. So it does crash every now and then, even though the stock market man gets scared a lot of the time. Sometimes it really does crash. Look at that. Over two days, it lost half the value. I don't know where the materials are going. Huh. Oh well. I guess stuff is just being built. Which is fine by me. Alright, stock market man. Give me a good price. Let's buy at three or four dollars. If it ever decides to get there. And nope, it's not gonna get there. I don't know though, like, the game, like, at the start you always lose money. But once you get up to a certain size, it's just guaranteed profits. Like, at this point in the game, it's just guaranteed profits. Like, the rest of the game, you know, filling the rest of the map with buildings is not really a, any of a challenge. It's more just, it just takes time. Because there's no way to lose the game at this point. Really is there. 